Hello everyone out there in the void. Bibi Rizzo's back and it's the end of April, so it's about to be May and you all know what May means. Video game tie-in month. Obviously. Because I just decided I wanted a theme and I've got a lot of video game tie-in movies, so let's uh, take a look. And while a lot of these have a reputation for lack of quality, that doesn't mean lack of entertainment. And I've, there's a few of them I'm actually quite fond of. But I decided not to go jump right into the mainstream series for at least movie franchises, your Resident Evils, your Silent Hills, what have you. They were coming. But first, I started off with Dead Space Down the prequel to the Dead Space video game series. So, how does it hold up compared to the games? It's okay. And as a standalone, it works enough. Now, so, if you're unfamiliar with the Dead Space games, it's pretty easy to follow plot, I suppose. Uh, you play an engineer who's answering a distress call from a essentially a mining colony and a ship in orbit above it. But when they get there, well, nobody's home, blood's everywhere, and strange creatures are aboard. Ones that seem to be made out of people. Meanwhile, there's haunting voices, people... Uh, then you'll be driven to suicides, visions, insanity, madness, all stemming from a marker that seems to be transmitting some sort of signal that's causing madness. This one kind of begins just before that ship gets completely overrun and a little bit with the mining quality. It shows how they found the marker and, well, the aftermath of the spreading necromorph invasion. Well, there's a lot of mythology in the game universe, particularly with their religion of unitology, and this movie touches on it a little bit. Doesn't really go too far in depth of it, but I think the amount it gives works. So if you don't have any knowledge of the Dead Space series, this one doesn't work, or that does still work actually, as a decent lead-in. I was just about to say it doesn't need it to exist. But it definitely helps. While this movie doesn't go too far into explaining what's going on, neither really does the games at first, so it isn't a bad start point. And you can understand enough that this alien marker is causing problems, and there seems to be some sort of cult showing up around it. Now, uh, this one follows mostly one of the security officers aboard the Ishimura, which is the name of the ship. Then, as she's doing her best to keep everything together and uh, get as many people out of this alive as she can. And then, however opposed to her at times, would be the captain of the ship, Captain Matthias, voiced by Jim Cummings, of all people, which was interesting to see. Uh, then he's... Uh, determined to get the marker back to Earth at all costs, mostly because they know they're not supposed to be out here, but uh, the church has essentially encouraged them to be here. So, as if they were looking for the marker all along. Conspiracies run deep in this series, and, well, this is kind of a decent entry. Also, one of the characters from the game who you only see briefly here is kind of a neat little slip in for the main character's girlfriend from then Nicole. She's not named in this, but it's clear who she's supposed to be. But other than that, it is a animated gore fest. But a decently paced one, and it's mostly more of an action horror kind of in a similar vein as Alien, I'd say. With a lot of uh, stuff is coming at the characters, and, uh, well, they're fighting back, and blood is flying. Overall, though, it's a fairly entertaining romp, but 
it doesn't really go above and beyond what it is, simply being a quick tie-in. Uh, this one's getting about a three MacGuffins from me. It's The animation's good, but not great. And the execution of it isn't bad, but there's parts that could have been handled better. The movie is only about an hour and 15 minutes, so it's kind of a short sit. If it had taken its time to establish things a little bit more, particularly what unitology is, as well as spending a little bit more time with the characters before dropping them all into this, it could have been a bit better. That said, uh, some characters like slow reactions to things, like Captain Matias's descent into madness, was pretty well done. At first, he could just he just seems to be a very sweaty captain at first. But that just more seems to be a symptom of his underlying desperation and panic. And it's his slow dissension is made more clear. Um, that said, there is some definitely creepy imagery, particularly uh, with uh, a woman who is studying the marker, her fiancé or husband coming eh, coming home to pretty much find her in her underwear, walking on broken glass, painting the walls in blood before for, er, getting ready to cut herself open. So yeah, some haunting imagery here. And I'm kind of been a fan of a lot of the designs for the necromorphs in general, so it's still an enjoyable film. That said, if you've played the game, however... Well, you're going to already know how this is going to end, because the end of this is the very beginning of the game, and if things go well here, the game wouldn't have happened. So, there you kind of already have a feeling about how it's all going to play out. But, it's still worth a watch, particularly if you like the games. It's, it's a fun little diversion, and it's a quick sit. All right, so I'm going to be doing a bunch more of these over the course of the month. I might be cranking them out a little quicker if I can, because there's a lot I'd like to get through, and I don't know how much I'm going to get a chance. So, going to do it for May, starting even a day early here. So, let's do it. Three MacGuffins. Dead Space Downfall. If you like the games, check it out.